Let's draw the pi molecular orbital diagram for this picture. It's going to give you any trouble. And what do you write next to those? Like, which one's pi bonding, not bonding? Are you just number them? A conventional way to deal with this would be to label them pi 1, pi 2, pi 3, and pi 4. The ones that are below the center line are the bonding pi molecular orbitals, so they don't get an asterisk. And the ones that are above the center line are anti-bonding, so they do get an asterisk. Notice that since there's an even number of pi molecular orbitals, none of them is on the center line. So there are no non-bonding orbitals. In this case, where we had an odd number of pi molecular orbitals, there was one that was directly on the center line, so it can't be either bonding or anti-bonding. It has to be labeled as non-bonding. So um, back here, when we only had two, again, there was an even number, and there was nothing on the center line. So there was no non-bonding. So there may or may not be a non-bonding, depending on whether you've got an even or an odd number of pi molecular orbitals. Now, uh, you guys figured out, what were the hybridization of these carbons? SP2. SP2. They're all sp2. So do they have p orbitals? Yes. Yeah, they all have p orbitals. How many p orbitals total? Four. So how many pi molecular orbitals? Four. And how many nodes do we have here? Zero. And then one, two, and three. So you figured out a way to put in the shading so that you had an increasing number of nodes and symmetry. We didn't need to use this trick that we used over here. We never had to just drop the guy in the center. That's related to the idea, the idea again, that there's an even number here. So uh, that was that. And you also drew the electron diagram, which was good as well. Um, we know that there are four pi molecular orbitals over here, two in this pi bond and two from this pi bond. They're really spread out over the whole system of overlapping p orbitals. So again, this would be the homo, and this would be the lumo. And in most courses, you're not expected to be able to go above four. Uh, we only need to count to four as far as molecular orbitals is concerned. So you probably would not have to draw the pi molecular orbital diagram 
if there were uh, five, so we won't need to go beyond that. So, but uh, you're likely to have to do these. These videos are offered on a pay-what-you-like basis. You can pay for the use of the videos at my website. There is a link to my website in the info box. The address is www.freelance-teacher.com slash videos.htm or you can just use the link in the info box. By the way, I also offer tutoring via Skype and you can find more information about that Skype tutoring service at my website. Thanks.